Michael, this is this is insane. When I woke up this morning and saw this, uh, I, I know that Harvard is very leftist. I know they're very liberal. This shocked me because of the reason that Kyle laid out in his tweets, because they're erasing the idea of redemption or forgiveness or the idea that anybody can make any improvement over the worst moment of their life. Well, of course, I'm sure nobody on the Harvard Admissions Committee has ever said a racial epithet, even once, even joking. They've never said anything like that because they're pure as the newly fallen snow. Kyle didn't go far enough in his statement. He said that Harvard has a past of racial bigotry. They don't just have a past of racial bigotry. They have a present of racial bigotry. And this is the great and cruel irony of what they've done to Kyle. There is no evidence whatsoever that Kyle Kashuv has any actual racial bigotry in his, in his mind or in his body. He said shocking things, a ton of other shocking things, when he was 16, as 16-year-olds do. There is, however, plenty of evidence that Harvard University exhibits bi racial bigotry every day. That's why there's a major lawsuit by Asian students and applicants who have applied to Harvard, and the dean of admissions has admitted that Harvard gives a disadvantage to Asian students who apply. So if an Asian student applies, they're docked on their SAT score by about 250 points. If they were a member of a favored racial minority group, such as black applicants, they would be able to have a lower SAT score and be able to get those slots. So we think of affirmative action in terms of helping certain racial groups. In this case, they are harming and discriminating against other racial groups. That's what Harvard is doing right now. But instead, they turn on Kyle Kashuv, who, who just simply said outrageous things in a private G chat message that was leaked by a political opponent of his. The way that you know that the words in that chat don't reflect what he really believes is he said the N-word a bunch of times in all caps. And then uh, elsewhere, he said, F me in the A. I don't know how else to say that on television. He said a, a sort of gross and explicit uh, term to describe gay sex. So either the things that were written in there reflect what Kyle really believes, and he's secretly a gay guy, or he was just saying things that are so shocking and outrageous for shock value, which means he doesn't find them to be normal. He doesn't find those things to be what he really believes. He apologized for them, which probably he shouldn't do because he doesn't owe the public one iota of an apology in this case. And the social justice crusaders have come and tried to ruin a young man's life.